you're on day 17 of the 100 day project and today I'm just revisiting uh, my tea bag art um, these could be used as pockets but today I'm going to use it as a little sachet to put in our journals this is just a nice little gift idea if you wanted to put it in a gift card for somebody and it smells amazing uh, I did find with this one I put too much lavender. I always do things in excess. <laughs> so I, I don't need nearly as much lavender. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. Um, a couple of these I made. Well, I don't know how. We'll see how we get on. Um, but you'd want to start the tea bags. <clears throat> you can get these if, if you're struggling to find them, eBay's got them. I don't like to promote eBay because I, I just don't like eBay. But sometimes, you know, you might have to go to places like that. Um, anyway, so that's, because I know people are going to ask me, where can I get them? Go to eBay. I don't know if Amazon's got them or not. They probably do, but I, I don't know. Um, I want to say today what we're going to be using is some digitals from Antique Papery off of Etsy and I will put a link to her shop um, and these are some of her the images um, they're beautiful absolutely stunning so I'm going to be uh, making a journal with this but it's going to be it's probably going to be another week or two before I get to that, so I thought it'd just be fun today to do some more collaging uh, with some of these sheets because they are just so beautiful. I love them. I think I'll pull those two to use because I want to keep a couple of these. So anyways, let's just get started. So I have made these before where I haven't tea dyed them in advance, and it's fine because you see most of this is one that hasn't been tea dyed so don't stress about that but it just happened that after I did that one I thought now I know I have dyed some of these and I dug through and finally found them so um, let's just go ahead um, and get started and it's just going to be some collaging today so um, so that's where we're at and I've got some book pages this is from an old hymnal I picked up here, um, and I love the um, the way that looks. That's just beautiful. So, um, let's see. Let's just get some of this down there. These are really easy to do. Another quick project. I think by now you guys know I'm. Uh, I like stuff that's not too complicated. Actually, I like that that side better. And yes, I'm back to the fabric tack. <laughs> I don't really want to be using this because this is going to go through the machine. Oh, yes. And for those of you who have been watching me, I bought some new black thread. Yay! So I'm back to being able to use that. And I, I did it on this one, and I love how that's, that's come out. Um... Because, yeah, the stuff I had was just too thick. I think it was actually supposed to be for hand quilting. And if you're really knowledgeable on sewing, you can maybe clarify what that means. But I know it was too thick for my machine. Or maybe I just had the settings wrong. I don't know. But it was, it was really not working for me. So, um... I think I'd like to get a bit of this color, and um, I've printed this out on 120 GSM weight uh, paper, and I really love, look at that, beautiful. I've been very fortunate, um, my, um, I've got a local guy here that um, does stationary supplies 
and I don't know what you call this. It's double an A4. So it's a big sheet. It's these. It's these sheets which measure, oh goodness, about almost 16 inches, right? And he gets this really high, I think it's Canon, um, high quality paper. And I get uh, 500 sheets of that off of him for about $4. So I can cut it in half. So I end up with a thousand sheets and it's 120 GSM. So, oh, happy, happy days when you find things like that because that stuff is expensive at, um, you know, staples and, and places like that. I know I want to use this one because I think that's, that's going to be really pretty. So yeah, I managed to get, um, now this isn't 120 GSM, this was I think 100, but even that is pretty good weight, but I've chosen just to use this as my little um, scrappy paper I keep on. Now, let me just see if I want to do anything else. <sighs> No, because I kind of want a bit of um, the tea bag showing. I think I think sometimes I I overdo it and cover so much of it, people don't even know it's a tea bag. <laughs> and uh, I'll have to sit these over and let them dry just a little bit before I hit them with the machine. And of course, at that point, I'll have to shut off, guys. And uh, Let me see if I've got, I should have laid out some lace or something to go across here. Let me, let me just pause it so you guys don't have to wait. Okay guys, I'm back and I've decided on this lace and then I've decided I'm going to have this little word here stamped on the um, the cotton so let me just get this inked up Okay, so you can see. And then I'm going to take this to the machine and stitch this what I'll probably do is stitch this on <coughs> the lace first and then I'll put it on here and run a stitch around and I'll be back. We'll finish this off. Okay guys, so what I've decided is to stitch that and instead of stitching this then onto this because I didn't want to see those going you know the, the stitches across that I went ahead and did this one and now I'm just going to um, to Fabri-Tac <laughs> gonna use that and uh, and then we just about got this one finished, and I think I'm going to have to call it a day here. I, I wish I had time to do a couple on on camera, guys, but I, I just don't have time. I've got to other projects that need doing, but this gives you an idea. All right, so the other thing I want to do... get this put away real quick and I've got 
these tiny tags. Just going to stamp. And those tags are paper tray ink. Yeah, I really like these in a journal um, because they can be two pocket or a single or just a floating little accent. Um, like I said, with the little sachet, that's just going to be something nice to put in, but um, to give it a nice smell. How nice when you open up the journal. I mean, that's the only thing I'm a little bit nervous about because I know not everybody is going to probably like Lavender Sea. It just adds, you know, rather than the tag being plain. Ooh, I like how that's come out. Okay, so so within... Oh, uh, let me see. What can I use to demo, demo, demo? <coughs> <coughs> this is another journal I'm... I started and I just haven't had time to uh, complete. So what you do is you just add your glue to the back along that here and then just adhere it and then you can fit your tag behind there. Now today because I glued it straight through you can only use this as one pocket, but if somebody said if I put a sheet of um, acetate through, it'll it'll keep that from being glued shut. So then you'd have one, two pockets. So I've done these before. If you follow my channel, I'm sorry, this is a repeat, but um, you know this is a craft with me, and and I am gonna have to. be using this time, you know, for, for things that I'm going to be using in future projects as well. So um, so there you go, guys. That's my two. This one, i would still got to add the little tag to it, but it smells so nice. I'm just, and I'm going to carry on making these. I've just got to use less lavender. So anyways, I'm trying to think. I've covered everything. Um, the tags, paper tray ink, the papers are antique papery on Etsy and the tea bags I know you can get from eBay so I hope you guys have enjoyed it I appreciate you so much for following along you've been fantastic on uh, being supportive over this and I really am grateful because um, it just means a lot when people interact you know in the comments section it really does make you feel like oh yeah it's worthwhile um, because it is a, um, it's hard to work this time in every day. I'm not accustomed to this. You guys know I maybe a couple times a week I'm lucky if I can get a video done. So to be committed to every day is definitely going to be a challenge for me. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed it. You guys have a great uh, weekend. Happy Easter. Uh, it's all coming up. I can't believe it. Um, it's here before, I, I just, I don't know where the year's going, but anyways, that's a whole other topic we'll cover, I'm sure, again at some point. <laughs> anyways, you guys have a great weekend. Bye.